Hi, welcome to Sparkling Memories, a place we could develop healthy relationship with food pairs and yourself. And today we're going to talk about urinary fibroids degeneration. It's basically when the fibroid is not getting enough blood supply to it in order for it to continue to exist. So it starts to shrink and it's, the cells begin to break down and then eventually when that occurs, it dies. Which means the symptoms you had when you had them will be a lot less than. Because when you have urinary fibroids, it tends to cause excessive bleeding, discomfort. Some people have to take medication. Others have to have a different lifestyle change. Some may go as far as not eating meat, eating leafy greens, and taking supplements. And some might go as far as doing birth control pills. And some, if you don't treat it, it can be deadly. Because it is something that happens whether you are fitness instructor and you exercise every day or you are health conscious and eat healthy, it affects just about anyone that has a uterus. It could be some that are problematic and they have others that are just there and it's not causing a problem. When it does become a problem, it begins to cause the female body to go through different process. It might cause you to look six or even higher months pregnant. It could cause you to have infertility it can cause your sleep, your eating habits, just about your attitude, all kind of different factors like your thyroid glands. So many things get messed up because of just having urinary fibroids. Now, fibroids degeneration is something that you want to have, okay? Because you don't take care of these bad boys, they take over your whole life, okay? I'm talking about you being sleep deprived, you are irritated. It comes by a lot of irritable symptoms women have when they have a menstrual cycle. Imagine going through that when you're not on your cycle. When you're just chilling and then all of a sudden you feel a gush. It's going to be uncomfortable. And sometimes when this fiber degeneration starts, you start to bleed a lot. And then it goes into another stage where there is fluids that are dark brown. Sometimes it might be these tissues sort of like when you see cotton and it get wet and it just start break apart like the tissue is separating you get blood clots you have so many different things that happens now some of the herbs you want to focus on when you do that i have a lace hair so if you see me looking down that's what i'm looking at because <laughs> there's a very whole long list so some of the things you might want to take to cause the fiber degeneration would be turmeric, paprika, leafy greens, raw onions, carrots, ginger, green tea, sage, mint tea, use olive oil versus using canola or vegetable oil. Drink plenty of water. So they tell you eat eight glasses of water a day, try to shoot as, for as much water as possible because your body is cleansing during this process. Stop drinking sodas. I'm talking about stop drinking those iced teas, sweetened or unsweetened. Stop drinking all that juice. Try to go to gain some leaves and put it in water. You soak it and you drain the nutrients from it and you make some bush tea. Something that have to do with grass, but you use stage when you use mint. You take the leaf, you boil it and you strain it and you make yourself a cup. Whether you use brown sugar or honey, that's all fine once you have some kind of sweetener. Some people drink it straight. Some people don't. Another thing you might want to start doing is drinking almond milk, cashew milk, plant-based. I'm not quite sure about that. But the almond milk, sometimes it comes with different flavors. And then there's hemp milk. I've seen a lot of people switch from the cow milk to hemp milk. That might help. But almond milk, you can do that. Eat yogurt. Greek yogurt. I personally like the one that has the fruit on the bottom and you have to mix it up in order to have like your yogurt. The Greek yogurts, I love those. I'm not saying nothing's wrong with having a little uh, yogurt and all the other brands. I just prefer the Greek one because I like my lay mixed berry, my peach, my mango, my passion fruit. I think those are great. Now, another thing you want to do is avoid red meat by any cost. I'm talking about eating steak, hamburgers, hot dogs, even Vienna sausage. 
eating things that are processed like hot dogs and all those things, you might want to take that out of your diet altogether. Now there's turkey, you can eat fish, you can eat shrimp, you can eat crab, seafood basically. But you want to limit the amount of soy you put in your body because soy is another thing that causes the estrogen to be high in your system. Because a lot of vegetarians want to know, okay, why so I still have fibroids? Because the amount of soy content, it causes your estrogen levels to be high and that's not what you want. Now, there are five different types of degeneration when it comes to urinary fiber degeneration. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce them, so I'm not going to embarrass myself by saying it here, but I would put it down in the description. Now, the positive thing about thyroid degeneration is basically your tummy gets smaller and you don't have so many cravings. And your cycles are a lot shorter and they're a lot more manageable without having to use prescription. And with all these herbs and stuff you put in your body, it helps your body to heal. Especially if you're a person that exercises and drink plenty of water, when it starts to degenerate, it's going to be a process. And it's not going to be an easy one because it's going to start with sharp pain on one side of your body and then it might last for a bit. And then after that, you have to literally make sure you have enough pads to cover what's going on. Because some women experience this after they have surgery. Like if someone went to the doctor, oh, a GYN specifically and went to get a urinary fiber embolization or myomectomy sometimes the fiber degeneration you would experience because not all the time when you go on myomectomy they might go in and take away all the fibroids but it's as much as possible and if you have fiber degeneration it's a good thing because now you don't have to worry about What's going to happen that you go outside and you have to be extra padded and put on things that look super long like the overnights and wings and you trying different products. The thing is when it comes to fibroids, certain things you change from your everyday life like stay away from so much plastic, especially when you're trying to store your food in the refrigerator, trying to get something with glass and has a suitable cover because they say they have glass, but a lot of times it comes with a plastic cover. So if you're trying to avoid plastic, why put a plastic cover on your glass container? You still use some type of plastic. Now, if you get a regular bowl or something that's not plastic, you could easily reheat or put it in a foil-like container. You put it in your oven or your toaster oven or even your air fryer. You should be good to go. Now, a lot of times you might want to still do the things you enjoy doing. You can still do that, but take away certain things like eating bacon. If you're going to eat bacon, eat turkey bacon. And I'm not talking about the, the one that just says turkey bacon. All turkey bacons are not created equal. The uncured turkey bacon is the best. It's the closest you will get to the real turkey. And if that don't work, try to get you a turkey leg. When you slice it, it looks like ham, but it's actually a turkey leg. And when you make it, it actually has a consistency to remind you of ham, but it's not actual ham. Because when you see the color and the taste, it is good. Now, with all these different things when it comes to fibroid degeneration, a lot of these doctors have no clue. The first thing they're trying to tell you when you start having anything to do with fibroid is get a hysterectomy. They want to remove your uterus altogether. And they have done this for years from women who are just beginning stages and they got the hysterectomy and then they no longer could have children. This is something that you want to do and you don't want to have children. You don't have to worry about fiber degeneration. You could just go straight into hysterectomy and then get it over with. But if you're a woman that's in childbearing age and you want to have children, maybe you should consider taking some of these herbs that I mentioned and see what works for you. It's a process, but it might take some time for your body to get down to it. Now, the thing is, your body, when it starts to change, is going to look different. From your belly being wrong and hard to it deflating like a balloon that was big and now it's small, you might start seeing a decline in terms of your stomach. 
some parts of the tummy might be small and some are large some might have like extra skin these are all the things they have to go along with when it comes to fiber degeneration because your body going through it and then it's changing you might want to get something like a waist trainer you want to get some i call those granny panties it's like the panties you wear and it comes up to like your navel and it's like cover all of your parts you may want to invest in some of those control underwear and they even have those where you have like body suits that's another thing you can actually wear when you have the fiber degeneration because as the process of your body changing it's going to look different it's going to look some cases might be lumpy and other places it might be smooth it's no longer hard and then you start fitting the clothes that you can wear before and then you have to buy new clothes because some of them are not in season it's just so much going on but the best part when it starts to have that is that you have energy you have more energy to do what you weren't able to do before now when it comes to that sometimes you still have to see a doctor because the excessive bleeding might not slow down or sometimes it might slow down or you might have a discharge the discharge is basically the toxin that's coming from the fibroid and is actually breaking down so you will see different things from the blood the clear fluids the brownish color some i'm going to be real frank with you have a foul smell or have an unusual smell and it's based on what you put in your body like if you eat a lot of fish don't be surprised if it's fishy if you eat a lot of red meat don't be surprised about a bunch of blood clots and other things going on down there so when it comes to the fiber degeneration it's a process so next time is me sit around for sparkling memories bye bye